Hello everyone and welcome to Lavellius Coloring. I will be coloring in day six in my advent calendar illustration here. So this is from Chihiro Shiomi and I will leave the link to her Etsy store and to this PDF down below in the video description. So day six this is right over here. So I will color the background part and do the little decorations here and then the table with the I'm thinking champagne and cake so yeah so we'll go ahead and get started okay so I will start off with the background and I'm just going to bring my paper towel here my hand still feels a little greasy I just um, recently put some like Cetaphil and Aquaphor all over my son so hopefully my hands aren't still, it takes a while for it to uh, feel normal again without all the greasiness. But anyways, I'm going to use the same colors that I use for the flowers, but it's not going to be with the spectrum blue because it's too bright for what I want for this background. The colors I'm going to be using from the blues are the horizon blue number 312 and indigo number 460 and then I'm going to add lamp black number 511 so I may fast forward this part because um, it's a lot of area for the background and I'm probably going to try to like smooth it out so I'm not sure how long that's going to take so I hope you enjoy the music when it gets started but first off I hope you guys are doing well still it's today the sixth I have a late start doing this one I'm hoping to like kind of catch up so that I am ahead but you know um, I do have other videos that I was planning to do so I hope you don't mind that these videos come out kind of later in the day And yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I need to catch up with. I like the comments and I do see it. I just um, I just haven't had time to just stop and uh, comment back because I <laughs> when I comment back, I like to write a lot. So hopefully um, I can get to it soon. So thank you so much to everyone that has left comments on my video. Thank you guys for watching. So. Right now I'm just going to do a layer of the indigo blue and lighten up as I get closer to this section here. And I was trying to think of how I was going to color this section. Oops, kind of too much there. And I decided on this one because you know you have like the moon right over here with the clouds and so I thought it would be best to just go ahead with the blue so I'm going to go ahead and just start the music in the background hopefully and cover up and I'll see you or I'll talk to you again when we get to this part
Okay, so <laughs> I tried to even it out as much as I can. I had to stop a couple times just to look at it and see. Like, I, I feel like I see like a line going here, so I'm just going to darken it up a little bit. Um, please excuse <laughs> any noise in the background, crying or anything you might hear. All of my kids are downstairs. I kicked them out of my room so I can record. <laughs> but my husband is there so he can handle it. His turn. <laughs> so, yeah, so trying to even it out. Because I see it in my screen. It feels like there's like a line here. So I'm just going to add a little more indigo blue. Just lightly and try to even it out. But yeah, this, I mean, it takes a lot of patience, but it's kind of calming for me, I think. Just trying to get an even, flat um, color, gradual color. But yeah. Uh, yeah, another thing that, the reason why I wanted it also blue, I, I can't even remember if I said it, but like all these... Uh, little dangling <laughs> things. I think it would stand out if the background part is blue. So, um, no, I think these are like little crystal things. So, it's like I'm gonna put like white Posca. I'm just adding like a little bit of dark blue into it. And yeah, so I'm just gonna start from the bottom up. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Burnt Umber 180 and then Lamp Black again, number 511. Just color it all in. I will make hmm, one side darker than the other. I'm going to make this part the light side. Come in with the Lamp Black. And I forgot what I was going to color the... Um, I think I was going to do pink. Let me go pull those out. So I have here fuchsia and cherry blossom. And I think that's the same as what I used to color the top of that gingerbread house. Um, I'm just going to go around and color all the parts that are the tablecloth oh and excuse any sniffling I might do hopefully I can do the magic of editing and get that out but just in case I missed <laughs> uh, a sniffling here and there I apologize that's just me and my allergies And let me see. So she drew in like some lines here, which I'm guessing is like the ruffling of the tablecloth. So I'm just going to just randomly stick in some strands of dark area with the fuchsia. And the little ones here. So some light and some dark ones. There. And then right underneath the fork and the plate. Right there. I was initially thinking about doing the tablecloth red, but then here's the bow, and I plan to do the, all the bows red, so I didn't want them both to both be the same color, like right beside each other. I add a little bit more pink here. 
I can hear my kids screaming in the background. <laughs> Better um, laughing and screaming rather than fighting. You know, especially since we've been cooped up at home for most of the year. <laughs> so, which I'm um, just glad and just like, I'd rather than be home and safe, laughing. I'm just glad that we have enough space here for all of us to just kind of like go in our little caves when we need to. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to bring in the lamp black just a little bit just for some areas just to emphasize some Okay, so what should I do next? I'll do the bottle. And I was thinking as a green bottle. <laughs> I think that's what you'd see. I'm not sure. I don't um, really drink. So I'm imagining a green bottle. I think they're a green bottle. Or I'm just thinking of those um, sparkling apple cider. So I'm just gonna color it like the sparkling apple cider bottle um, so that was malachite green sorry number 255 and then now I'm coming in with the fur green 288 and usually I would look up like what a bottle would look like so right now I'm just guessing, kind of have an idea, but I'm not sure, but hopefully it'll look okay. But if it's filled, shouldn't it be darker? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just going to... Okay. <laughs> there. Now it's filled. I don't even know if that looks correct, but... Looks okay, I think. So let me darken this malachite green. That, no, not malachite. That was fur green, sorry. Now I have malachite. Just fill it in a little bit, add more green. gonna leave it like that just leave that little thing like a highlight <laughs> just let it darken so yeah I'm just gonna leave it like that and then the labels I was gonna do it gold so I am going to use the colors that I use for gold which is cream 127 Yellow Ochre 153 and that's not the right one. Cocoa 090. So I'm just gonna go lightly with the, I'm gonna do Yellow Ochre. Yellow Ochre 153 just lightly. I'm gonna go over all the parts that I am going to do gold. That's it. Yeah, okay, so I'll come in with the cocoa. Yes.
right there. Then come back with the yellow ochre. Cocoa again. Should I do the tag too? I'll do the tag a different color. So I'll go ahead and decorate the cake. I wanted to make it like a strawberry cake. So I'm just going to the middle part right here. Maybe there's like some strawberries here. So I'm just going to, I don't know what it is. It's hard to. <laughs> figure out what it is so I'm just going to think that those are strawberries um and say ivory I know, chocolate strawberry cake. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. So I'm going to come in with the burnt umber that I used for the... What is that? The leg right down over here. So I got two layers of chocolate. With strawberry chunks in the middle and then let's make it a pink frosting kind of like the we'll make it we'll make it dark there the tree I'm gonna use the olive green just color it in Fur green, just a little bit. Right there, and then what should that circle be? I think I'm just gonna use a gel pen or something and <laughs> stick that in there. So the silverware and that, I'm gonna make this like the foil of the cake so I'm just gonna go over it with this is cool gray number four the fork it's so small I shouldn't really have that much just little there and the plate I'm just gonna make it a white plate with cool gray just around the edge right here and then the cup I'm just gonna wait what should I put a drink in there just leave it empty I'll leave it empty for now so <laughs> we smoke blue and I'm just going to... Hmm. This is the same with the bottle. I would normally look it up and see how it would look like. But I'm going to be guessing. That. 
So I'm coming in with the cool gray after the smoke blue and just just a little bit. And that's it. Oh, I think I was supposed to do that silver. So I'm just going to just go over with the cool gray lightly. And then with the lamp black. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm just going to like shade it from one corner. Doesn't really look like silver though. For some reason, I can't picture it, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, so we'll. I'll get the gel pen that I'm gonna use for that. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the first strand. I'm gonna be using um, the Sakura Stardust. So I have first um, 744. So this one I want to just kind of like make like little beads. Right there. And then hmm. I'm going to use the Uniball Signal 0.8. Let me move this down a little bit there. Hopefully I can go straight. There, I'm just going to... That was supposed to be a... Like a triangle or diamond shape, but... It didn't work out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make like little dots going down instead of a line. And then for that little gem, I'll use the Uniball Signal. Just. It won't come out. Hold on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Accidentally um, pulled my phone along with my microphone and searched for my Sakura Jelly Roll. So this one is the 0812. So I am going to just lightly go around this pendant. I'm just going to do this one too. Just a little bit. And While I have it out, there we go, and then, hmm. not that you can see it that much, but over there, okay, so I'm going to continue and just add <laughs> jelly rolls. So I also brought out the metallics to use. Um, this one is 551, 554, and 517. So the 517 I think looks more like a champagne color. This one is like a bronze, and this one is a gold. I'm going to start off with the silver uniball to do the little strings in between. But I do have another what is that uh, Christmas question? Well, it's more winter, so or uh, weather question. <laughs> but uh, would you have three feet of snow for Christmas or no snow at all? So for me, I'd rather have snow for Christmas. I haven't had snow for Christmas for a very long time. So, uh, I think a snow for Christmas would be 
awesome, especially for this year. I mean, we're already all home. I think it's cozy feeling for me to have snow. And then another question is, would you rather build a snowman, go sledding, and have a snowball fight, or have a snowball fight, or stay inside drinking hot cocoa? So when my kids were younger, I used to go out in the snow. I can't make a small star. Let me get close enough. But... Uh, nowadays, I would just stay home, uh, stay inside, and have a cup of cocoa. And then when the kids come back from playing outside, I'm the one that has the hot cocoa ready for them. And they would, I would have like a basket ready to put all of their wet stuff. And... Yeah, so I'd rather do that. Grab all of their <laughs> wet jackets and clothes, wet socks, and have those all ready to go into the washer. I'm just adding little more decorations. Um, can't make a... What is that? It's too small to make any kind of other decorations. So... Um, so I'm going to put 744. I forgot I wanted to add here. Um, I'm going to make this a glittery thing, make this tag glittery, and make this topper <laughs> glittery, <laughs> just going all, all over. I'm going to just excess gold. And then I brought out my Nouveau Glitter marker. This is Silver Mist. And I just wanted to see if I can see that this color in the background. So I'm just going to... Uh, no, you can't really see it. I mean, you can see it if I tilt it like that. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that and then add white dots on it. So I'm just going to go... And go to different that. Hopefully, I can remember where I dab this like that, and I'm just gonna let it dry for a second. I'm going to go ahead and come in and write the six here, so you can see it, and then see if I can draw in the door. With the white jelly roll and then just there so you'll see white but when you'll tilt it you'll see the what is that the um, sparkle <laughs> So 
it's just like oh. it's hard to tell if it's writing from my angle so to stop and check I think a Posca might be a lot better than the gel pen. Oops, going over it. Sorry. Going over. Making sure I didn't miss any. Okay, so when you see it, you should see like the white, but then when you tilt it, see the glitter stuff. So yeah, I think we are done. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for hanging out with me to color in day six for this advent calendar. So I will see you in my next video. Please take care, keep safe and healthy, and happy colorings. Bye-bye.